In this lecture, we're going to create the login screen for our app. To do that, we're going to duplicate the current home screen we designed in the previous lecture. And we just put it next to it. Actually, let me rename the name of each artboard so we don't get confused. All right. So on our login screen, we're going to select every element that we have and we're going to remove it. Next thing we're going to do is use the rectangle tool to create a new rectangle, exactly the same size of the artboard. We're going to remove the border and then we're going to use this feature, which is the background blur. We're going to activate it here. And as you can see, this whole layer just creates a blur on top of the background image that we had. And by using these options down here, we're just going to make it a bit heavier. As you can see, if I go down, it's almost not there at all. If I go all the way to 50, it creates a nice blur, which looks quite cool. Next, we're going to create some text as the title of the screen. We're going to change again to Lato. back to white and increase a little bit the font size all the way to 40 and also we're gonna have a light weight I'm gonna zoom a little bit we're gonna put it all the way to the left side of the screen and then using shift and the right arrow key we're gonna hit it for two three four five times so that we have a 50 pixels exact margin from the left side of the screen. Now we're going to create the first field of our login form. So once again, we're going to duplicate this piece of text here. And all in capital letters, I'm going to name it email address. Obviously, we need to make some changes, probably even smaller about 14 pixels and let's bump up the weight to regular and let's make sure that this is properly aligned with the text on top one two three four five okay also we forgot to lock this layer here the blur and let's also rename it and the status bar as well. We forgot to move it on top. All right, so now we're gonna have an email address just below here. And we're gonna put down the opacity to about 70% so that we have some nice contrast here. And then we need a little line here, just below the email address. To do that, we're going to select the line tool and we're going to draw a line of 275 pixels so that we have 50 pixels on the left and 50 pixels on the right. Just the color is not right. Let's put it to white and then let's play with the opacity and put it down to about 30%. Okay, so now we're going to select all these three elements here and we're going to group them. Once again, Command G and we have a new layer group here, which we're going to call Field 1. I'm going to tidy up a little bit. Okay, so now we select this group and we're just going to duplicate it. And maybe let's move it a little bit closer to the field on top. So we're going to rename this password. And then we're going to get rid of the email address here. And instead, we're going to use some circles, which is like when you mask the password, you don't want to show it to the user. So to do that, we're going to use the ellipse tool letter A let's move let's zoom in a little bit 
and we're going to create a perfect circle by using shift by holding the shift key and let's make it about 8 pixels diameter as you can see up here we're going to remove the border and then we're going to use one of the coolest features in uh, Adobe XD which is the repeat grid which is up here we're going to select it and then we're going to drag this little handle here towards the right side of the screen and we're going to create about one two three four five six seven eight little circles here and then when you hover with the mouse in the space between each circles you're going to be able to decrease the space between them let's do it to about six seven pixels something like that and let's see how it looks okay some adjustments we're gonna select this again and align it to the text on top also let's play with the uh, with the opacity all the way to 70 like the email ab above and probably still we need to move it up a little bit so now we just need to create our login button to do that we're going back to our home screen and simply copy and paste back into our login screen the sign up now button which will transform a little bit so we're going to make it a bit smaller about a hundred pixels and we're going to center the text back here and just use login as the main text we're going to drag this up something like this maybe a little more okay now we need the forgot password link uh, so we're gonna select the text tool and we need to change the font again down to about 13 pixels we're gonna make it white and then we're going to play with opacity to make it a little bit less prominent about 70 percent could work and we try to align it on top with the line on top and on the left side with the center of the login button okay so now we're gonna add at the bottom of the screen a little link to sign up for those users who don't have an account so with the rectangle tool we're going to create a rectangle here at the bottom about 40 pixels maybe a bit bigger we're going to remove the border and make it a dark gray something like this and align it all the way at the bottom and then we're gonna play with the opacity and tune it down to about 30 percent and now we're just going to copy this piece of text here and paste it and put it on top going to raise the opacity all the way to 100% just to make it more visible and we're going to edit the text and we're going to center it in the very middle all right so now we need to create a little back icon which is an arrow that we're going to place on top of the screen here for users to be able to go back to the home screen so once again we're gonna use the rectangle tool and actually we're just gonna zoom in to see clearly what we're doing so we create a sort of a rectangle about this size we remove the border and we round up the corners something like this so once we have that we're going to rotate it by holding the shift key and we're rotating by 45 uh, degrees as you can see here on the uh, right panel then we're, we're going to duplicate this and again using the shift key we're going to rotate it again 
we're going to move it all the way down here so that when it snaps and it creates a nice curve like this and then we're going to select again on this shape and we're going to duplicate it again we're going to move it at the center rotate it again by 90 degrees and then join this shape all together with the other ones and we're probably going to make this a bit longer so that it looks more like an arrow once this is done we're just going to select all the three layers we created and we're going to hit this button which is the add function which basically merges all those shapes and creates a one unique shape that you can reuse in your design and we're going to move it all the way to the top about 20 pixel from the left border now let's have a look at our layers panel here we probably need to tidy up a little bit because it looks a bit messy so the status bar on top login text we're going to rename the layer for the arrow this goes at the bottom we're going to group it then we have the two fields field one and rename field two and we're going to move them below the login title and then the button here okay that looks much better I guess we should move down the login title a little bit so that it's closer to the other fields and probably just select everything and move a little bit everything to the bottom so that it's better vertically centered and that's about it here's our login screen and i guess i'll see you on the next lecture